I'm Alan Knudsen, Extension Entomologist with Texas Cooperative Extension, located at the um, Research and Extension Center in Dallas. Today we're going to talk about uh, sampling beneficial insects in cotton. Uh, beneficials are one of the first lines of defense in managing insect pests in cotton. And just as it's important to know how many pests you have, we also need to know how many beneficial insects we have. When we sample uh, uh, pest insects, we like to do a visual search, and that works well for uh, pest insects since they don't move very quickly, particularly uh, bollworms, uh, caterpillars, eggs, and aphids. But when dealing with uh, beneficial insects, many of them move very quickly, and visual search uh, misses some of them. And more importantly, the visual search takes a lot of time because we have to look at all the different squares, blooms, and leaves on the plant. Our research has shown that a much more efficient and still accurate method of sampling beneficial insects in cotton is what we call the beet bucket method. This is a beet bucket here. As you can see, it's simply a uh, uh, five gallon pail or, or a pail that's a little bit less than five gallons works just as well. And it's just been modified with a bracket here to hold a clipboard so we can record our counts. And you might want to put a handle on the side to make it a little easier to use in the field. I'll show you now how we uh, use the beet bucket to sample beneficial insects in cotton. So to use the beet bucket to uh, sample cotton for beneficial insects, position the beet bucket at about a 45 degree angle to the ground, then reach down into the cotton and grab the stem of the plant and put as much of the plant as you can into the beet bucket in one smooth motion. The idea is to do this quickly so the beneficial insects can't escape. Now with the plant inside the beet bucket, beat it against the side of the bucket for at least three to four seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. And don't be gentle, beat it hard because we're trying to knock these beneficial insects off the plant. <clears throat> then pull the plant out and you've now captured the beneficial insects in the bottom of the bucket. To sample a cotton field, we'll want to take uh, three consecutive plants and then count the number of insects that we've captured in our bucket. We want to move quickly and not take more than three plants before we count or the insects will start flying out of the bucket and we'll miss them. So we'll take one step between each plant and sample three plants. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four. 1,001, We now have our sample and we can identify and count the insects that we've captured in the bucket. Once you've uh, collected your sample, then you want to count the number of insects that you've captured in the bucket. The first thing to do is tap the bottom a little bit to spread the insects and plant material across the bottom. Be watching for insects that fly out. Some of the lady beetles and other rapidly moving insects may fly out and they should be observed and recorded uh, very quickly. Then you can look at the fallen blooms and small bowls to see if there are any beneficial insects on those and one by one remove them from the bucket. As you find things, you can also record them on your uh, data form. Some of these insects are stunned by the sampling. Uh, small pirate bugs, um, pirate bug nymphs, uh, may take a few seconds to recover. So don't um, assume there are not insects in here until you've given them some time to recover and look very closely. Uh, as they begin to move, you can identify the uh, insects and uh, continue to make your counts. Sometimes it's necessary to tap the bucket and some of these insects will revive and start to move and also they'll appear from underneath uh, bits of leaves and things that you might not have noticed them before. Then make your final record and then be sure to empty the beet bucket and remove all of the uh, spider webs that sometimes collect in the bottom so your next sample is uh, uh, starting with none in the bucket. So we've sampled three plants at one site. Now the question is how many sites do we need to sample per field? 
Our research has shown that to get an accurate estimate of the beneficial insects in cotton, you should sample between 25 and 30 sites per field, with three plants per site. Now this does take a little extra time, and obviously you can't do a beneficial insect sample every week. We would suggest you make a uh, beneficial insect count the week of first bloom. At this time, the beneficial insects have reached a relatively constant level in the field, and you can also then have information on beneficial insects as you come into the bollworm, budworm, uh, uh, egg laying period in the season. So having this information on beneficials can then help you make decisions as you get into those late season uh, insect problems. So it does take a little extra time, but the time invested in getting an accurate sample is well worth it.